Okay. This should actually be working now. Oh. My gosh. I don't know. Man, that was awful. That was really bad. Um. Okay. There's a new link. There is a new link. Let me just uh, tweet that I'm live. Just do this, and oh my gosh, I can't believe that whole thing just happened. Ugh. And then I forgot to... <laughs> that would help. <laughs> okay. Alright, cool. Whatever. Alright. Let's try this again. So, I am playing um, Cozy Grove, which should be awesome. Um, we'll put the microphone here. Okay. Wow. I'm so great at this. All right. Um, I'm listening to myself talk, which is very odd. Um, uh, Peanut told me that I really need to do this and it'll be life changing. So I'm trying it. Um, seriously? Oh, uh, no. Now my thing decided to be a butt. Yeah, let's fix that. And that's the soundboard. Okay, so that should be a little bit better. Um, okay. Let's get started playing. So the main thing that you're doing in this game is trying to, at least I believe, that you're trying to save these animals um, by like helping them fix their psychological problems or whatever. So let's do that. All right. Hey, Yolanda. So it's a little odd. Like I was saying, um, Peanut told me that I have to listen to my microphone, like listen to my own voice the whole time. And I've never done that before. So this is going to be very odd for me. Ooh, welcome to the Spirit Scouts. Before you head out on your first solo camping trip, fix yourself up. Thank you. Um, let's see, I am white as Casper. And I have blue eyes. Um, that's super cute. Um, we'll go with that. Looking good. <laughs> She's not saying I have a bad voice. She was just saying that to learn to control it, I need to be listening to it the whole time. So I'm trying. Now it's time to begin your camping trip. Okay, let's do it. You open the letter you carried from the rowboat. It says... Dear Spirit Scout, welcome to the island of Cozy Grove. Utilities and other public services are not available on the island, so please check your provisions. Rangers from the mainland rarely visit the island. You will need to be self-sufficient. Note that the previous campers have reported run-ins with bears in the area, so use caution. Have fun and keep your fire burning. Love forever, Scouting Services. All those who are lost deserve kindness. Okay, cool. I like that. Oh, hold on a second. My f I unplugged my fan to plug in a uh, vape. I have to plug that back in.
God forbid. Really? You know the thing about USBs? Is you always are going to plug it in wrong the first time. And then you'll turn it over and it'll still be wrong. And then it will turn out that you had it right the first time. But I hate that. Okay. So, uh, okay. What are we doing here? Um, calf, calf, calf. How old are those starter logs, Scout? Tastes like a century at least. Oh, the, it's the fire talking to me. Okay. So where have you brought us this time? I am in a coffin, Yolanda. <laughs> yes, I am in a coffin. I'm always in a coffin. Uh, so where have you brought us this time? Um, a haunted bear infested island. Some place called Cozy Grove. Or I'm a little disoriented, not quite sure. Um, we'll play, we'll just... We'll save the crazy for later. Cozy Grove. I know the name. I've licked it off old brochures tossed into my embers. I sensed dozens of wounded, restless spirits, desperate for help, but not conscious of it. This doesn't seem like the sort of place young spirit scouts typically go for their first solitary excursion. Ah, well, if you were sent here, the scouts must have been confident you'd be up to the task. Are you ready to see what's out there beyond my firelight? All right. I think so. Good enough. I see the ghost of a ranger at the edge of the woods. She's been waiting there a long, long time. Don't be scared, scout. Go introduce yourself. After all, you're here to help. All right, let's find um Oh, okay. Something's happening. Huh, another imaginary camper. Oh, I'm the imaginary one. Got it. Must have brewed my lady gray a little strong this morning. That is also my favorite tea. Unless, say, you're not a real living person, are you? Hey, hey, angry pistachio. So we have just met the ghost of a bear scout. And um, they think that we are imaginary camper. Um, not a real living person, are you? Yes, I am. Well, I haven't heard news this exciting since the baby warblers hatched. Welcome to Camp Cozy Grove. I'm Charlotte, your local ranger, also a ghost. Okay, so interesting. Charlotte knows she's a ghost. And by the way, Pistachio, your sister told me to listen to my microphone the entire time. This is extremely weird. So hopefully I don't stumble over my words while I'm, my brain is getting used to it. Okay. So interestingly, Charlotte knows she's a ghost. If you run into any problems, I'm your bear. Say that uniform of yours, it looks familiar. Oh my, you're a spirit scout. That does change the forecast a bit. Puts the sun behind the clouds, so to speak. Do we want the sun behind the clouds? <laughs> I would think you'd want it in front of it, but whatever. That's not even possible. That was a very dumb thing to say. You can't put the sun in front of the clouds, <laughs> but whatever, whatever. Um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, very happily not hearing my own crappy voice um, and all of my weirdness. I'm sorry. Well, maybe you're talking to pistachio. Um, okay. Put the sun behind the clouds, so to speak. Um, yes. 
a problem? You're not the first spirit scout to visit this island. Many, many years ago, another ambitious youngster summoned a fire here in hopes of earning her final merit badge. Ah, so that is what we are here for, is to earn a merit badge. And it's raining. Our, I don't know. Oh. A little boy. It did not go as planned. No use on dwelling in the past, though, is there? You're here now, friend. She's not. If you're planning to stay the night, remember the first rule of wilderness survival? Keep warm. Somewhere around here is a wood log. Find it and toss it on the fire. That should make things a little cozier for the both of us. All right, let's go find a wood log. Yeah, this is that one. Oh wait, it's a ghost of a log. Spirit wood. Do I just... Here's a log for you. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> this is spirit wood. Where did you get this? A uh, ghost told me about it. Well, first of all, thank you. It's delicious. But the presence of spirit wood confirms my suspicions. The haunting of Cozy Grove runs deep. There are many lost souls in here in need of your help. They can't rest until someone has helped them come to terms with their past lives. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My coffin. I... <laughs> yeah. Um, they may not even remember who they are or how they died if enough time has elapsed since they passed away. Oh, I forgot to turn Do Not Disturb on my phone. Okay, whatever. Um, ah, that spirit wood has fully... Oh, look at that beautiful fire. It's like pink and purple and blue. Except the fire has like a really weird face now. Um, my light is expanding. More of the island is waking. Lost places are being remembered. I see someone new. A crafter of useful things. Say, oh, that's a nice fire you have going. Oh, wait, how would I could do it? Say, that's a nice fire you have going. Um, let's see. Still a bit small, though, huh? See if you can find more spirit wood out there. A little warmth would do this island good. A healthy fire is sure to call some distant campers home. Oh, I'm a log burner. Now what do I have to do? I don't get it. Oh! Well, look at that. What do I have to do though? Ah, uh, this is on Switch. Oh, coins. Ooh. Old coins. Cool, cool, cool. <gasps> we found the new spirit. Is that a snorkel? Okay, this is Jeremy Gruffle. Oh, I guess you can see me. So sorry, I figured I'd be invisible. You're sorry? For what? For haunting a perfectly good island. The last thing I want is to drift around the afterlife, glowing blue, getting in the way of upstanding folk like yourself. It's unseemly. Until I find out why I'm stuck here, I'm afraid I'll be haunting us both. Alright, so we have a good puzzle. Maybe I can make it up to you, maker buddy. Not to brag, but I'm pretty handy as ghosts go. Bring me three branches, okay? I promise I'll make it worth your while. Alright, let's go find some branches. Oh, what's that back there? Oh, look! It's like little dancing girls. 
so cute. Have I watched Held on Netflix? It's for kids. I've never seen it. Is it the same kind of thing? Hmm. I mean, Charlotte's got some more coins. Give me that money, Charlotte. Maybe I could buy some twigs? I don't know. Hmm. That's cool. Hilda, I'll have to check it out. Where are the damn twigs? I have to shake the trees or something? Oh, there's a place to make s'mores. Um, it looks like there's an exclamation mark by my fire. Yeah, I did that. I have one twig. Hmm. I don't see any other twigs. The Howl's Moving Castle guy? I've never heard of that. I don't know. Maybe they'll tell me where to find them. Check your quest log for a hint, or if you're really stuck, go to Charlotte Pine and get directions. Let's go to Charlotte Pine. I don't see twigs. Um. Okay. No, no, no. No! A hundred gold coins? No thanks. The the flammel. It does. <laughs> yes, she is. She's got a a frigid air body for sure. Let's see quest log. Maybe I lost it by a burrow. Did anybody see a burrow? Burrows are in the ground, right? Oh! Is that a stick? That might be a stick. Is that a stick? Yes! Oh, there's another one. We got two sticks. I didn't know we could go down here. Oh, is that a skull on a stick? Oh, there's the other one. Look, look, it's up there. It's up there. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Got it. All right, we can go back to our ghost now. Um, yes. Okay. Look at these sticks. What beauties. For rabbits and tops. What kind of animal is your player? Kind of looks like a gray alien type. Oh, yeah. All right. Um, yeah, I think she is. I see fridge boy. Oh, totally. I I was trying to figure out if that was like a snorkel or some kind of um, weird VR helmet. A twist here, a scoop there, and voila, your first shovel. Not my finest work. My paws kept slipping through the lathe. I don't even know where that lathe is. But if you want to dig up the soft dirt mounds around the island, that shovel will do the trick. See, spirits, I've helped this poor scout. 
my haunting is complete. Wait, did we help our first spirit? Oh, no, we didn't. I'm still here, aren't I? Darn it. Darn it. One flimsy shovel isn't going to do it, is it? Of course not. Well, don't worry. I'm full of ideas for tools. I'll give you all the help you need to stay cozy in our grove. Hope that shovel works out. Oh, and have a spirit log, too. Oh, good. Oh, no, wait. Where'd the kids go? Whoa. Look at all this stuff. Ooh, money, 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 money. Oh, more money. Money, money, money. Hello, children. They won't talk to me. All right. Don't, where are you going? Oh, another coin. Oh, our fire looks sad. Here is a log for you. So delish. Well done. My light is expanding again. I now see an old friend. Mr. Kit has noticed our beacon and set up his canteen shop. Huh. He looks quite at home here. But wait. There's more. I see a strange and salty figure standing on the shore. Mmm, I wonder what that means. And as he has arrived, something else has vanished. Something important. Oh dear. Best go see for yourself. I saw, I saw that um, thing that Peanut posted on Twitter about like the alien walking with the popes and I don't even know what to make of that well they're not popes they're cardinals but <clears throat> okay wait what do I do now um yeah the it's like a bunch of cardinals walking and then there's one in a red robe or a red trimmed robe and it looks very different very not human yeah what the hell is with that uh... oh i think we have to go find the salty go well maybe not no it looks like we do Wait, really? That video was posted by, like, the official Vatican account? That's crazy. What? Uh... Weird. That's totally fucking crazy. Like, what does that guy actually look like? Was it like a weird camera thing? A light thing? Or do they have like Jar Jar Binks is a cardinal? I don't know. It's weird. It's really weird. Simply by exploring with a keen eye. But other times... Yeah, totally. Like what the hell is going on? Is that a real thing? Did they just do it to see if people were paying attention or I don't know what the hell it's weird um other times you need to get your hands dirty have you noticed those leaf piles laying around like a Koopa from Mario Brothers <laughs> yeah <laughs> maybe try digging through those when you come across them you'll be surprised at what you find just the other day, I thought I saw an old book peeking out of the leaves. Yeah, you gotta post more stuff like that. That's interesting. Oh, wait. Oh, look! We found a mushroom and a stick. My volume? 
It shouldn't be. It says it's pretty loud. I can try bringing the microphone closer to me, I guess. Is that better? And can you hear the game? Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I can never tell because obviously I can change the volume in my headset. So I feel like I'm too loud. Okay, so we found a mushroom and a stick, and Charlotte wants us to find an old book. Let's look in this. What do we find? Soft wood. Hmm. Wait, what's in there? Well, let's dig it up. <gasps> a coin. A hundred coins. Sweet. Wait, let's dig that up. Look at the little fish. Is that a potato? A potato. Potat. A cousin of mine has a YouTube channel, um, and he talks about some conspiracy theories and stuff. I think he goes a little far. Maybe a lot far. Ooh! Is that a baby? What the hell is that? What? What is it? Look at the fox with the rat! Oh my god! It's a fox with a fucking rat on its head! <gasps> um, yeah, we could totally do that. I think that would be really fun. Show me some alien stuff. I a fox fridge with a rat on top. I can't think of anything better. And his name is Mr. Kit. <laughs> okay. Why, hello there, perspective shopper. Hey, <laughs> Mr. Kit. I must confess, when I followed your fire, I never expected to end up here again. This island's fallen into quite a state since my last visit. But how rude of me. I haven't properly introduced myself. You may call me Mr. Kit. I know your name, of course, but I am far too polite to repeat it. I have a standing agreement with the Spirit Scouts, you know. Wherever you go, Kit's Canteen shall be there for all your buying and selling needs. The only catch? I set the prices. Isn't that the way it is with, like, every store? How can I help you today? Um, let's buy something. Take a look at all the shiny new stuff. Look, he's got a caravan. How fun. Oh, oh, a fishing pole. I think we should get it. Sounds great. Take my money. I love it. Okay. Now we can go find a salty friend. What are these things? That is the weirdest looking animal I've ever seen. And it makes sense. Speaking of babies, hold on. I don't know if you'll be able to see them. Wait, I have little babies. Little babies. Hold on. Okay, yeah, you can see it a little bit better now. I have a little babies. <laughs> um, I have them on my desk because I have to give them Pedialyte like all the time. Yeah, his eyes are closed. He just has the tiniest 
tiniest little teeth. They're just, just coming in. So, um, I just got him, I got five of them last night. The Humane Society found them and they were going to put them down. So I have them. Um, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I got to go to this other rehabber's house and I got to feed, I got to like with a bottle, a human baby bottle, I got to feed baby raccoons, a week and a half old baby raccoons and three opossums. And I got to feed, um, a, not a snowy owl, uh, a screech owl, a juvenile screech owl. <sighs> And I got to hold a baby squirrel and I was just like, oh my God, I'm in heaven. I'm in heaven. The little raccoon was the best. It latched onto my finger, like right here. And um, I just held it and it just sucked on my finger as like a pacifier for like two hours. And I was in love, in love, in love. <sighs> I love taking care of babies. So many babies. And I will not kill this thing, whatever it is. I mean, yeah, it looks real fucked up, but it looks like a weird sushi roll with a leaf for a head. I don't know. I'll, I'll send you pictures of the um, me with the possum. So cute. And with the raccoon, feeding the raccoon. No, but I would like what a dream job. I would love to have a raccoon daycare. Um, this lady had an older one that's like nine months old and he would just run around our house and jump up on the couch and wrestle with the dog. And then he would see her purse and just go right over to it and just stick his little hands in there and just take out her lip gloss and her lighter and all this stuff. And I was like, I want one so bad. But um, I'm, I was told that I'm not allowed to bring one home. She would have let me. She would have absolutely let me raise one. But um, my man said no. I'm going to work on him. I want one. It's going to take a lot of convincing, I think. <laughs> he was like, not a chance in hell are you bringing a raccoon into this house. Sneak it. <laughs> I might. I might. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. No, they make a lot of noise, though. They're very talkative. Okay. Captain Billweather Snout. In life. Oh, how. Well, we have to do this um, in a different voice. In life, I was a bear of the sea. No, I did. I, that's, that's terrible. I was a bear of the sea. Um, hold on. Maybe we can do this. In life, I was a bear of the sea. Whatever. Um, I sped from Cozy Grove to the main and back again a hundred times over. Unnatural, some said, for a bear to fly twixt the waves as I did. That bear has a beak. But did I listen? No, I did not. How's that a bear? Oh, look at that cute boat. He's so cute. Look, it's a bear mermaid. On the front. It's so cute. And now I am transformed. A vast young person. How long have ye been standing there? Ye caught me reciting my origins. I am Captain Billweather Snout, though some now call me the Seagull Bear. I can tell you why they call you that. <laughs> yeah, mer bears, right? Oh my god, I would die. <laughs> and a raccoon bear, or a raccoon maid. Um, let's see. Pleased to meet you. Are you a bear or a seagull? I would also like to know, so I'm going to choose that one. A bit of both. Squawk. <laughs> Tis a strange thing to be a seagull bear. My two halves have precious little in common. Except, of course, for a love of fish. A beagle. 
Wait, wait. A beagle? A... I don't know what that is. I mean, other than a dog. I know what a dog... I know what a beagle is, but... <laughs> I don't know wh what you mean in the chat. Um... Oh, a bear seagull! Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, a beagle! Ah! <laughs> Oh, how cute. Okay. <laughs> I like it. His name is Captain Beagle Snout. Speaking of, are ye hungry, young sailor? Fetch me a fishing rod and I'll show ye what's on the menu. As it happens, I already have one. Aye, sailor. That'll do. That will do nicely. Well, what are ye waiting for? If ye want to find us a proper meal, you're going to have to pluck it from the deep yourself. Take that rod and catch us a whopper. Mmm, I hope this is easier than it is in Stardew. <laughs> Fuck. Uh... I don't, I don't have a rod anymore, though. Can I have it back? Supposing you'd be one Yeah, I would like that and the fucking rod. Select your fishing rod, then use the holding hand button to equip it. Hold ZR and a direction and release to cast. Try it for yourself, young sailor. Well, I found a fish. I think. Hmm. Uh. Uh. Open your backpack. Navigate to your fishing rod and press A to equip. Ha oh, why? Hmm. <laughs> Hold in hand. We've done it. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Let's go fishing. a lot of waiting and some more waiting I'm not sure what to do uh, am I supposed to do something Maybe that was too soon. All right, we'll try it again. I heard something. <clears throat> I don't know when I'm going to hear something. A sunfish? What? I don't get it. I'm doing something wrong. I don't know, but if I can catch a mer bear, oh my god. Wait! Wait! Do I have to go over here where there's a fish? Maybe I have to do that. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe I... Oh, that was it. I'm a stupid. Come on, fishies. Bite, 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 bite. I did it. I did it. I did it. An ebony squib. I don't think that's the right kind of fish. Oh, it was. It was. Okay. Oh, hello, Mr. Beagle. 
Okay. Yes. Ah, a fine fin ye've managed to dredge up there. Good eaten. <laughs> I think ye and I will have plenty of time for fishing. So, I see hearts above them. And it's like five hearts, and that gave him like half a heart. That's a made-up fish. Oh, no. Message deleted by stream elements. What? Stream Elements hates you! It deleted everything! What? Stream Elements, what the heck? Oh! What the hell? <laughs> wow! Dude! Stream Elements, what's wrong with you? Spam filters? Alright, we're gonna take off that. Wow! That's crazy. <laughs> what the hell? No, people can do emotes. No links, but... Um... Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry! <laughs> Stream Elements totally hates you. I think it's because you wrote in all caps. I took that off the filter. Um, sorry about that. Um. Sorry! Alright, um. Oh! Four people. Wow. Hello, silent viewers. Um, now that your boat's washed out to sea. Oh yeah, I have, I have a bunch of them. That's so funny. This is like a little thing that um that I got for Christmas. And I can be in a big auditorium. Or I can be like a total valley girl. Yeah, it's just a funny like little sound board thing. It's just like just some stupid cheap thing from Amazon. Uh, now that your boats are washed out to sea. Oh, it's really fun. Yeah, you can put it like you can plug your microphone into it. The only thing is, is it can't be a USB microphone. It has to be one with like the actual little plug. So that kind of sucks. I had to steal one from a gaming headset and like attach it to my real microphone. So I have like a real one and then I have a little one sitting on top and that one is for the little soundboard all right yeah totally sucks but i can ask mr man where he got it um and i can text it to you um now that your boat's washed out to sea my boat did what <laughs> Oh yes, a loose knot and a fickle tide was all it took to send your vessel on its merry way back to Neptune's bosom. A word we don't use enough. Oh, there's another one. Don't blame yourself. This island's a maelstrom of ill fortunes churned out by our wretched tales of ghostly woe. Mm. Until we spirits find a measure of peace, none may leave this place. Did you hear me? None may leave this place. Um, okay, Mr. Beagle. So, young sailor, though you're a living scout and I'm a ghost, we have something in common. We're both stranded here on Cozy Grove. Oh, it's even worse when I do both. It's really creepy when I do both voices at once. It's like there's a demon. <sighs> Sorry, I play with that sometimes. It cracks me up. Okay. We're both stranded here on Cozy Grove. Now, he has like a third of a heart. So, I think I have to get all the hearts just like in starter you have to like have all the hearts and then maybe holy <laughs> he's like 
because like I get you. I get you, girl. Um So I think that's what we have to do is just like in Stardew, we have to get all the hearts and that's how we save them. Totally. Whatever plans he had of solving all our ghostly problems in a single evening. Oh, you should totally check out my Instagram. I I went to um, a burlesque show that my friend was doing um, the other day and I live streamed it. We would have so much fun. If you ever come out to L.A., I, we will have so much fun. Um... Whatever plans he had of solving all our ghostly problems in a single evening, put them out of your mind. We bears aren't your overnight project anymore. We're your neighbors. Yeah. Oh, look at that one has a little skull mask on. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my God, it's so cute, it's so cute. Oh, talk to me, don't run away from me. Talk to me. I tis true that my reputation is of a grog drinking hearty, but I've been known to partake of the finger thing. Oh. <laughs> I thought he said, I thought he said the finger, but the finer things as well. A case of rare Madeira, for example. I think that's like probably a wine or something. A <laughs> finger popping. I was like, well, you do have like a seagull beak, so maybe you want to nip my finger. I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we gotta go find him some wine. Of course, the finer things will give you a crushing hangover. Just the same as the cheap stuff. Not true. Not true at all. I had, like, for my birthday when we went to that same bar to have absinthe, we got, like, the real good stuff. It's like, I don't know, like 15 or 20 or $25 a, a glass. It's something crazy. Um, no hangover whatsoever. But you drink something with cheap vodka and yeah, you're going to be paying for it. What do we do now? Um, I don't know what to do now. Let's go find out. Let's go talk to our fire. Oh, um, oh, a clothing collection. We get to change our clothes. We have a tent. Oh, we do have a little tent. Look at that. We have a little tent. Uh, I want to burn something. Uh, put stuff in storage. Seek out the troubled seafarer on the beach. Um... Okay. No, apparently he needs another log. Delicious. What's that face? Checking on my babies. Hmm, that's strange. I'm still hungry. I think one more spirit log should do it, though. I sense at least three logs out there. Maybe close, maybe far. Ay, shit. We gotta go find logs. Our fire friend needs logs. I wish we could just order them on Amazon. Wait, what was that? Oh, no. Hello, Mr. Kit. Kit Kit. 
Ooh, mushrooms, softwood, branches, whatever that thing is. Softwood and branches. I just don't understand what that thing is, but it makes a little sounds. We have a satellite dish, as every campground does. <gasps> we found the wilderness guide that Charlotte Pine wants. this like he didn't give me any spirit wood which just sounds so weird wait is it spirit wood or spirit log spirit wood sounds weird to say I'm sorry fire I don't see any Did I miss it? Did you guys see it? <laughs> That's it! Why, it's an old Spirit Scout Wilderness Guide. And hey, the memento collection portion of this book is still intact. That's where scouts track their progress helping local spirits. Which I have to admit, You've gotten a pretty good start on. I'll hold on to this book and use it to track your progress, helping the spirits of Cozy Grove. Would you like to take a look at the memento collection now? Show me my sweet relationship progress. That's the spirit. Um, okay. Spirits. Three of 17 found. And... Two of six forest spirits. Keep helping spirits to reveal more. Charlotte Pine, the ranger bear, isn't thrilled to learn you're a spirit scout. Apparently, another scout visited this island once before and it didn't go well. Mm. That bear looks like a tree. Alrighty. Cool. Spirit wood. Yep. Yep. I was right. It's called spirit wood, which sounds strange. Like something in the movie Ghost. Just saying. I don't know if you're allowed to vape on YouTube. You couldn't vape on Mixer. That is one of the reasons why I left the Mixer platform and went over to Twitch is because you couldn't vape. They would, like, disconnect your stream if you were vaping. It was really weird. Um, okay. There we go. Ah, another healthy dose of positive spirit energy i love twitch i'm not gonna lie i love twitch i like all the interactivity oh by the way can somebody tell me if the closed caption is actually working um it should be working um i don't know how to tell if it's working oh look there it is yeah, you can click the closed captions button and you can actually get live captions of the stream because we are all about inclusivity here and accessibility. Um, except for visual things. I don't know how to make that accessible. 
Um, <clears throat> ah, another healthy dose of positive spirit energy. Uh, okay, Twitch is really good for interacting with your audience, especially when you're gaming and there's game drops and things like that. So it really is the right platform for that. But there is zero discoverability. So if you don't already have an audience, you're not going to get one on there. You have to come over to Twitch with an audience already. It's really hard to grow there. Um, really hard. So. Uh, uh, okay. You're doing well, young scout. The more you help these ghosts, the more they will remember. Yeah, plus everybody's on YouTube and knows how to navigate YouTube and how to chat on YouTube and how to do the things on YouTube. And almost nobody has a Twitch account and nobody wants to download another app. You can't rewind anything on Twitch. Um, so that's why, yeah, I'm going to just start trying to stream some other games here and then reserve my Twitch for like the more nerdy gamer games and just do my fun little like non-gamer games over here the more you help these ghosts the more they will remember is that what we're trying to do we're trying to get them to remember their lives do we want the mer bear to remember that he's not a seagull or what it may go slowly at first this is going someplace creepy. But trust and understanding is not a thing you can manufacture quickly. Help these bears. Guide them through remembering themselves. Eventually, they will find peace. Right? Maybe. It'll go slow at first. Alright. Um... I guess we should talk to Charlotte. You know, we aren't the only spirits that could use your help. Sometimes lost or needy animals visit these woods. Speaking of which, if you want at some point, I can bring Kit Kat on stream. Kit Kat would love to say hello to everybody. Sometimes the lost or needy animals visit these woods. Okay. I gotta turn my phone off. DM me Android. Do not disturb. But seriously, don't disturb. You want that seagull meat. <laughs> in fact, I think one wandered into Mr. Kit's shop just this morning. It may look like a simple charm of a young, placid bird. If you buy and bring it to me, I'll show you its secrets. Now listen. We could take this into such a bad place. We could make this wholesome game seriously unwholesome. A young flaccid, I mean placid bird. Bring it to me and I'll show you its secrets. <laughs> Let's do it, right? If you want, you can get on like a voice chat with me and you can ruin the game. Totally just get in here and ruin it. Okay. Let's go buy a young flaccid bird. So Charlotte can show us the secrets. Uh, where is our... Mr. Kit, Mr. Kit. Oh. Can't miss him. I want to buy something. A critter net. Oh, yeah. But that's really expensive. A butt. Oh, wait, no, it's a pink plum. Uh, we can buy back our sticks. Oh, look, there it is. A young placid bird. A happy spirit animal. Feed cooked food, then harvest essence. Surround it with items it likes to increase your harvest. Buy for 250 old coins. Well, I don't have 250 old coins. 
A young bloodbird. All right, we have to go get more coins. Let's go fishing. Fishing probably will do it. Whoa! What the hell is that? It's like a weird spiny snail thing. What do you want? Oh, I'm pretty sure I owe you an apology. Well, maybe. For what? I hate to say you're wrong, but you're wrong. I made you that slipshod. Another good word. Shovel earlier, hoping a good deed would get me out of being a ghost. Of course, it hasn't worked. Maybe because the shovel I gave you? It's not my best work. Let me show you what I mean. First, though, I'm going to need some soft wood. Root vegetables, like baby carrots, and wood branches. Hmm. Okay. A root. Harvest from dirt mounds with the shovel. I don't have any of those yet. And I've got three. Oh, wait, I do. I have two. Well, excellent. Let's find some fishies. Fishy, fishy, fish. Too far. Too far. Oh, but we gotta take her. Yeah. Another ebony squib. Excellent. Maybe too far. Nope. Did we get something different? No, another one of those. Uh, let's see. Wait, there's a little dock. Fishy, 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 fishy. Another one. Boy, we are just full up on ebony squids. Who's gonna get it? Nom, 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 noms. Oh, hey, a new fish. A dead gar. Huh. Okay. Weird. An ichthyologist. Oh, another good word. This game has a lot of good words. It's an ichthyologist. All right, what kind of fish will this be? Dead or alive? Oh, oh. Wait, a long neck eel? That looks like a seahorse. The daddies of the ocean, I love them. Um, okay. All right, fight, fight! Oh, whoops. I thought they would fight over it. Oh, oh. You want a dead or <laughs> right? Right. Cause I'm wanted. Wanted. Dead or alive. All right, let's go sell the... Well, wait, hold on. We'll get this one, too. I can't believe I caught a dead fish. This is weird. Did it die while I was catching it? I don't get it. Ebony squib. 
All right, let's go. Wait. Nope. Softwood and branches and mushrooms. Let's see if we can sell him stuff. For 52 coins! Oh, that is a tiny lazy fish, apparently. Um, all right. Sounds good. Let's do it. Okay. How much for the dead fish? A common catch. How many? You right? I love him. He's so amazing. Look at his cheeks. He's got those chubby little cheeks. I love it. Four cabbages worth. <laughs> oh, let's see. Uh, I guess we could sell twenty-five. Okay, but that's that's a, an uncommon one, so maybe we should not sell it. I think we should keep that one. We should just walk around with a. a, a uh, what? Wait, what is it called? Um. A seahorse pretending pretending to be oh you need a pickaxe okay but there's mining in this game too that's interesting oh are you a dead fish or an alive fish it certainly looks alive It's highway robbery. Ooh, a long nose ling. Looks like a goldfish to me. Okay, let's see. Mmm, here, fishy, fishy. Another dead fish. You know, it sure fought hard for being a dead fish. So weird. So weird. Dead fish. There's all these like little spirits around. I want that mask. Do you want a fish? A chill wind blows ashore. Ghost that I am, it blows clean through me, sending a shiver through my bones and very soul. A few more feathers under my coat might soften the breeze a bit. Too bad I just molted. Listen. I'm telling you, I know this is a, like a wholesome game, but I hear... I hear it totally differently than I think they intended it. <clears throat> okay. Five feathers. This is where my ADHD comes in. What were we doing? I don't remember. Oh, is that a feather? Is that a feather? No, it's the top of a rock. Oh, but there's one! There's one! There's one! Oh, 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 oh. Mother! Is that a can of tuna? Um, oh, feather! <gasps> feather! Feather, 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 feather! New ghost. Let's find out what this ghost is all about. 
Oh, look at him. Is he a postal bear? He is. He's Patrice Furback, the postal bear at your disposal. <laughs> you know, when I joined the service, I figured I'd be in it for life. And I was. But I never suspected the job would keep going after. Let me tell you, delivering mail to ghosts? That's a whole new bag. A whole new mailbag? Oh, busting out the postal humor from the jump. You and I will get along just fine. I know he's like never gonna finish his job ever, but it's such a cute outfit. Oh my god. Look at this little bow tie on his bear. And he's got <laughs> he's got an envelope on his hat. It's really cute. I'm choking. It's so cute. Okay. Buy it off him. I know. I want it. Give me your ghostly hat. It's totally again. Before I went boots up, my work had a certain routine. Deliveries for local residents arrived at the town post office at 0800 sharp. I relayed those deliveries to the listed residences. Ghost deliveries, though. They're processed through the psychic plane. They just show up wherever and whenever they want to. I ran patrol this morning looking for new arrivals, but I'd bet a spirit log there are more packages out there waiting to be tracked down. Aha. Okay, so this is how we can get another spirit log, which is a much better word than spirit would. I don't know why they use both. Just say spirit log. <clears throat> but that's how we can get another one. All right, let's go find a package. I sort of remember where I saw one. It was near a fallen log behind something. Okay. Near a fallen log behind something. Ooh, leaves. Softwood and mushrooms. Hmm. <laughs> they make such cute sounds. And there's a snail thing. A fallen log. Does anybody else see a fallen log? Is that a pile of leaves? No. Are there any more feathers? <gasps> a package! We have found it. Let's go take it to our... Wait, what was his name? Oh, <gasps> Feather! Ooh, only need one more. Oh shit! <laughs> what was that? Orbital Lings, how are you, sweetheart? You found your way to me over here on the YouTubes. Um... Oh, here he is. I gotta, I gotta give you your wrench over here. This is, well, should I not mod this one then? I don't know how to do it from here anyway. Add moderator. All right. <clears throat> Orbital's been one of my moderators for like two years. All right, it, it's done. Um. Looks like it could contain anything. Okay. Did you feel it? The rush of finding a package. The thrill of checking for a well-formatted address. Let me be straight with you. I love this job. But I could use a postal helper to help me with the USDs. A postal helper? How exciting! Oh yes, the thrill of the post. 
See, see what I'm telling you, Pistachio? You could take everything that is said in this game totally different to the thrill of the post. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's true, Orbital. That's true. Uh, unidentified supernatural deliverables, a.k.a. USDs, will be our primary assignment. Most of them are pretty tame. They might rattle or whisper, but that's it. But if you come across a troublesome package, return to sender, one that's screaming in Aramaic or spewing demon fire. What? I don't even know. A troublesome package that's screaming in Aramaic or spewing demon fire. Like, demon fire! Um, okay. Well, you just send that puppy my way. Wow. Alrighty. Because one way or another, that thing's bound to be addressed to me. Now, is... <laughs> Is, is Patrice Furback saying that any discreetly um, wrapped packages are probably for him? Is this like an Adam and Eve thing or I don't know. I don't know. Oh, and it seems I've already received a letter addressed to you as well. Oh, I have a mailbox here? Yes. Here it is. What do we get? <clears throat> Hope you're settling into your solo camping adventure. Don't be disheartened if you can't find a needy ghost immediately. I intentionally picked a safe island that's not too haunted. When you finally find a ghost, try to help it make peace with itself. And when you do, you'll finally graduate to second degree. P.S. I'll try to write you every day. Unless I get busy. Uh, there's presents in there? Hey, a log cabin table. That's awesome. Hope you're settling into your solo camping event. It just said the same thing. Didn't... Oh, hi. It's me, Postal Bear. I sent this letter to you via myself so you could see how it works. I've also included a little thank you gift for your help. Ten parsnips. Ooh, fun. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Love it. Okay. Now we get to see our little post office. Look, he's got little mail scooters. Look, they're so cute. Yes, Orbital, Angry Pistachio is a good friend of mine. From the YouTubes. Um, okay. Select an item, press X to begin placing, press A to place it. Is that a telephone booth? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Can I ride the scooter? No. I can't ride the scooter. Ooh. Thank you for subscribing again, Orbital. Oh, another coin. Hmm. Now I have a camping table. And how many coins? Ooh! Ooh! I almost have enough coins to buy a placid bird. Got it. Well. Only four more logs before I'm full. Oh, cool. Well, how many do I have? I sense at least six logs out there. Maybe close, maybe far. Okay, cool. Um, Alright, open our backpack. 
We've almost got enough. Didn't I get a camping table? Oh, yeah, a common log cabin table. Oh, geez, it's big. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Aw, we have a table. Okay. Cool. Oh, we gotta sell our fish. <clears throat> because we caught some more dead fish. And we gotta find a feather. ADHD, am I right? If only life worked like this, where you could just, like, do everything at your own pace and nobody ever got mad at you for forgetting. That would be nice. Are you driving tonight, Orbital? Or are you home? Oh, feather! Found it! Let's go warm up our mer bear seagull confused friend. He's gone. Oh, wait! No, 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 there he is. All right. Gotcha. That's a fine set of feathers. But why bother helping me, little castaway, when ye have such troubles of your own? You give a quest, I do it, you reward me. That's the way this works. Nah, I don't want to say that to him. I'll say, just being neighborly. Yar, oh, har, neighborly. Ye might find somewhat put stock in that concept here on Cozy Grove. But it doesn't mean much to us birds. Still, I thank ye. With these bits of fluff pad in my coat, the wind bite does lose its teeth. But bundled so, a rule of the afterlife comes to me clear as white rum. Even in death, Ye cannot refeather your wings. Oh, he gave me a log. Or some wood. More spirit wood. Okay. I need one more root vegetable to... I don't know where to find it. Oh wait! Leaves! <gasps> we found it! Alright. It is. It is Jeremy Groffle. What sort of tool is he gonna make for me now? Sorry, no tool this time. Did you know folks used to come here from all over just to learn how to build and fix things for themselves? Maybe if I pass that skill on to you, I can pass on myself. My crafting bench is open to you anytime. Just stop by and let me know when you want to craft something. Here, have some crafting recipes to get you started. Just select one and learn recipe. Then you can bring the ingredients to me and get craft. Thing. I believe you already have enough wood to build yourself something interesting. I want to make something right now. Right. Let me show you to my workshop. All right, let's see. What do we got? So I can make hardwood with 10 softwoods. I can make a softwood 
with 10 branches. Semi-precious gems. A professional skipping stone, right? Normal skipping stone. A silver ingot. Elite skipping stone. Common log cabin fence. Chair and table. I can make a... Nope, I can't make a planter. I can't make anything. Ooh, spooky decor. I've got none. Apparently, this is going to be a long game. Hey, he gave me a bunch of stuff. Including some spirit wood. The VRC drama. No. I did not hear about the VRC drama. What's going on? They insinuated EAC over... They instituted EAC overnight and banned all mods. Wait, what is VRC? I'm not... And what is EAC? I don't understand. Banned all mods. Wait. Really? What? Why would they do that? The mods were like everything about VR chat. I don't get it. Why would they do that? That makes like, literally no sense. What the fuck? Mar, Mar. Okay, I don't have any more logs. That's crazy. Well, they're going to have a big problem. And then it turns out a lot. See, I hate stuff like that. Like, you know, I'm real big on, like, having closed captions and doing all that kind of stuff. Um, I, like, I really like accessibility. But that sucks. I can imagine... There's a lot of very angry people. Let's see. Yeah, no wonder. Of course you're canceling the subscription. That's crazy. Uh, oh, Jesus. Okay. Let's not... Yeah, it was all about the mods and freedom. It was like the last place on the internet that was still free. VR chat was um, not a place for kids, obviously. Oh, wait, I gotta buy this thing. Um, yeah, that's crazy. It's totally crazy.
All right. All right, Charlotte, here's your flaccid bird. Yes, this is the bird charm I was talking about. Seems like a simple trinket, doesn't it? But when it's placed on the ground, it transforms into its true self, a ghost bird. If they're given specific foods and kept near things they like, they will thrive. Like, there's lots of kids everywhere on the internet. Yeah, there are. I, I would not let a child of mine go on VR chat. If I had one. Um, or, like, my nieces and stuff. I wouldn't let them go on it. The poor bird is hungry. I'll order some food it will like, but the food won't arrive until tomorrow. In the meantime, let's find it a spot to live. Why don't you place this animal on the ground near your campfire? Oh, and another spirit log. Yay! Shwing! All right. So now, let's see. It likes decoration, lamp, and rustic decor. Hello, ghost bird. Well, parents would get their kids a cheap Oculus for Christmas or birthday and VR chat is free and was highly promoted by VR platforms because they could really show off what VR was about. Totally true. Totally true. But like, I won't even let um, my niece, when she comes over, I don't even let her play, um, what's it called? The one where you throw the Frisbees. I won't even let her play that because the other kids in there are like super mean. Feed cooked food, then harvest essence. Surround it with items it likes to increase your harvest. I guess we can pet it. So it wants a bagel. Okay, okay, we get to name it. Okay, so is it Marge? Featherhead the third. I know which one. I know. Shartifast. Is that what that says? Shartifast. Splat. More names, maybe later. Shartifast. I think it should be Shartifast. Shartifast. What do you guys think? What? Yes. Oh, kids playing Halo are mean. Oh, hello, babies. Oh, hello, my babies. I wish you guys could see this. They're so cute. Oh, is everybody warm? Is everybody happy? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. No. A little warmer. Is off. Hold on. I have to get a new warm. Okay, babies. I use these like warming things. I have to put it in there so the babies stay warm. Okay. You want to see the baby again? Shart for sure, yeah. Okay, here, I'll show you one of the babies again. Wait. Okay. Hey, come on, focus. There you go. Sleepy baby. Cold. Cute. 
Sorry, your little heat rock burned out. But you will feel better now. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Plug it in. The most offensive players in most games, like COD, GTA, Battlefield, are the five-year-old dudes. Seriously. Seriously, they are. But my, like, nine-year-old niece isn't one of them. Okay. Okay. Shorty fast. Shorty fast it is. Ah, oh, hello, hello. I don't know why the hello came on, but... I don't know why that's going on. I have no idea. Um, okay. So we need a bagel for the bird. And we need logs for the fire. I guess... Would you like a hug? Yes, I would, Charlotte. I would like a hug. That's so sweet. That's a good hug. All right. Okay. I'll take another hug. That's good. Very sweet. Um, okay. So there's got to be a new ghost or something now, right? Now, there's a ton of these little guys out here. So many ghosts. <gasps> Ooh. Another past marked delivery incoming. Not postmarked. Past marked. When you're alive, letters arrive at the post office a few days after they're sent. But ghost letters, they don't run on regular time. And they're likely to show up at non standard addresses, like in leaf piles or behind rocks. So if you find any letters out there, please bring them by the office. Sealed letter. Look near a sculpture made of sand. Okay. Let's go do it. I'm guessing we have to go to the beach. There should be something here. Return it to sender, right, Kate? <laughs> Return to sender. Uh, okay, well, there's a sculpture, but there's no package. Oh, wait, we have another one here. Oh, there it is. Found it. Try checking the grass piles. It was near a folding chair. Okay. I know I like the ones with the little like skull masks on. They're really cute. So we gotta find a folding chair. This one here. It's been a really stressful day. I gotta tell you, this is like, I needed the little, um, palette cleanser or whatever. Like, waiting to hear if I got this new job or not. I really hoped that they would tell me today and I could start on Monday, but I guess not. I guess not. It's like the worst part, right? You go through, like, a billion interviews and... And then you gotta wait. <laughs> I 
Is there another folding chair somewhere? In a pile of grass. Pile of grass. Well, I had four. Four interviews. And the fourth one was with the president of the company, and she said that the other three told her to hire me and they were really excited and thought I was perfect for the job. But there was one other person that they were that made it to the fourth interview. So it's like between me and one person. And I said, I don't even care who the other candidate is. I'm the right candidate. So you should totally hire me. I think I think they're really smart to tell you that. Um, 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 um. I think it's going to come down to the salary negotiations. Ooh, leaves. Mushroom and stick. No letter. I uh, don't want to go into what the job is, Orbital. But let's just say it's like a project management kind of thing. Ooh. Oh, money, 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 money. I thought I had a thing for money. I guess not. Uh, I don't know how to make a bagel. Mushrooms and sticks. Fight them for it like Thunderdome winner gets the job. Listen, Kate Winslet, I am freakishly large as uh, a, a female. Um, I can kick almost anybody's ass. Orbital can tell you. Orbital's hung out with me in person. I can kick almost anybody's ass. A sweet potato. Where are these letters? Oh, 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 letter, letter, letter. Sure, yes, why not? Come on, Orbital. You know it. I can kick anybody's ass. Except maybe The Rock. Probably couldn't kick his ass. Ooh, money. You could not. Oh my god. <laughs> That's hilarious that you think so, though. It's very cute. <laughs> Look at these. I don't know what these things are. They're weird, like... Sushi bread loaves or something. You know, a hand-to-hand -hand combat? Alright. <laughs> All I gotta do is just, like, classic cartoon move. Just put my hand on your forehead and you'll just be swinging. And your hand-to-hand -hand combat will do nothing. I know all the cartoon moves. Fucking letter. <laughs> you can use my hand to take me down. Okay, you'll have to show me next time you're over here. Where's this fucking letter at? Is there another, like... Damn. We're just walking around aimlessly. Where's this fucking letter That's the first thing they teach you? Well, I know this. If you're gonna rob somebody and, like, hold a gun up, don't put the gun... Like, don't put it close to their head or their body because they can get it from you. So I do know that. Same with knives, probably. 
but knives are not as dangerous when they're far away from you. Guns are still dangerous even when they're not within reach. So, there's that. You see, I'm an expert. I know all about it. It's another geometric potato. Exactly. Exactly. Use a ranged weapon as a ranged weapon. I like that. Listen, if I don't find this other letter, I'm going to rage quit in epic fashion. Which one of you little fart nuggets has that letter? Your target might not believe you can hurt them with a knife at range, even if you can. Oh, you mean like throwing it? I don't know how to do that. So they'd be right. I probably couldn't hurt them with it. Fuck, where is it? Do you know how to throw knives? I think, I think uh, Pistachio was talking about throwing stars um shurikens I think they're called or something like that hell yeah <laughs> no pistachio can throw knives I don't have a pen <laughs> where is it oh my god <laughs> where is it it said a grass pile by a folding chair. I'm such an idiot. Um, well, knowing how to do that is relative to the practice with your particular set of knives. Actually, a friend of mine, um, Mark Gray, which he doesn't care. He goes by his name everywhere online. He plays Santa Claus on TV shows and movies. He's like a really good Santa Claus, right? And he's going to take me axe throwing. So I just want you to imagine this man who looks like Santa Claus all the time. And his favorite pastime is throwing axes. All right, let's take this to the postman. Wait, yep, postman. Oh, he's singing to himself. What do you think he's singing? Hey, you found some loose letters. A thank you card for Jeremy. A lawsuit notice for Clyde. Oh, it's that damn cease and desist again. Bills for my wife, Anja. Wait, why is my wife, Anja, getting bills? And here's one for me. Ah, threat of disembowelment by a hundred skeletal claws. Oh, why is somebody sending the, the damn postal bear a threat of disembowelment by a hundred skeletal claws? Why would somebody send that to a postman? Maybe it's because the cease and desist letters. Standard stuff. I'll make sure the rest of these get to the right place. And hey, check in with me once in a while in case I've got anything for you. Well, you know what? You can, you can keep those ticking packages and return them to sender. I don't want anything dangerous. Sweet titties, spirit wood. A potted cone flower. And we're up to half a heart. This is good. This is good. Oh no, it wasn't a cease and desist. It was a decease and desist letter, if I recall correctly. Decease and desist. Oh, here you are. I 
I'm getting hungrier for more spirit wood every time you feed me. And that spirit wood is growing harder to find. Dude, you could do that. It's like $5 Harbor Freight Axe and piece of plywood mounted on your fence. All right, cool. I think there's something about going to a place with Santa Claus to throw axes. It, just, it seems kind of fun. How can that be when there are still so many needy shadows hiding in Cozy Grove? I can feel at least 13 more lost souls waiting to be helped. Oh, man. I gotta, like, crack some knuckles before we get onto that. Wait! I see something. Someone. Standing in a forest. Or am I mistaken? Perhaps it's just an oddly shaped tree. Let's go find out who it is. You're on your way to being completely oriented. Oriented. That word looks really wrong to me. Um, it should say you're well on your way to being completely oriented, Scout. I hear you've even been helping out other ghosts on the island. That's a nice thing for a spirit scout to do. Hey, since you're out there searching for missing things, you haven't seen my tea mug, have you? For your lady gray tea? No, I haven't. But I want the lady gray tea. Is there another ghost? Or I'm just looking for a fucking tea mug. <laughs> Look at the rat. It's so cute. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Rat. Oh, new ghost. What kind of bear is this? Francesca Duclaw. Who dares? How dare you? Who dares disturb the forest? I dare. Wait, you're a living person? After all these years? I thought you were just an imp. Back to torment me as usual. Is that what those other things are, is imps? It's been a while since we've had a living, breathing creature in these woods. For decades, it's just been me and my fellow trees. Oh, that's the tree bear. Did you guys hear that? Um, let's see. Yep, the only tree in this clearing with manners, apparently. Emerson, Carson, Cow Cow, Throw, say hello to our guest. They must be feeling shy. Of course, I'm a little different from your typical tree. I'm sure you noticed. It's my embarrassing lack of leaves. Yep, yeah, old struggle strands there. The imps plucked them off me years ago and scattered them across the island. Would you mind finding my leaves for me? I think I spotted it near a skull tied to a stake. I know where that is. What do you want? I got a new recipe? Hmm. There were some... I know I saw some over here.
Oh. Why isn't that working? Weird. I have to figure out why that doesn't work. Oh yeah. I think... Wait, why doesn't that work? Uh-oh. I've lost my mouse. Oh shit, there we go. Oh yeah. Okay, cool. Let me fix that. There we go. The snozberries taste like snozberries. Okay, good. That works. Now this I'm sorry, the soundboard wasn't working. <gasps> A tea pastry. And wait, what's that? A rough white lipped snail. Okay. Wait, what's that? A rough hawking hawkwing conch. Okay. Wait, what's that? A leaf. Oh good. A leaf. There's another one. And there's another one. Sweet. We need like two more, I think. A little bit of love for you. Leaf, 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 leaf. Oh, there's one. Um, you know, for how little this island is, it's remarkably difficult to find some things. Oh, wait, there's, is that the last one? Sweet. Now, who do I take it to? I'm trying to remember. Who gets the leaf? I've been thinking about you. Stuck here on Cozy Grove. You and I, we're sort of in the same pickle barrel, aren't we? I'm allergic to pickles. <laughs> Sorry, how insensitive of me. Stick to woodworking and leave clever sayings to the professionals. It's so ridiculous. Oh my gosh. When somebody just says something and then you like respond with, I'm allergic to that. My aunt died from that. Or whatever stupid thing. It's like, really? Really? All I mean is, neither one of us quite knows what we're doing here, do we? But I can help you dig a little deeper into this mystery. With five branches and one piece of softwood, I think I can do just that. I have it. Yeah, I can give you that. Uh, I'm not going to give you that much of it. You found all five branches and one piece of softwood, too? That's great. I was worried I'd ask too much of you. Here you go. Your very first pickaxe. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's a little flimsy, but it should let you dig right into the rock of the island. And while digging, if you happen to find any answers about why I'm doomed to haunt this place, well, I wouldn't mind knowing is all. 
Cool. A bone pickaxe. Common log, a common plant lamp. Oh, we got to put a lamp over here. And we got to hit this with a thing. Um, hold in hand. Yes, how? Oh, yeah, okay. Ooh, small iron ore and a normal skipping stone. Try skipping stones toward clams in the water. The lamp. Common medieval chair. All right. Oh! Oh, that's a cool chair. I like that chair. That is very awesome. A bioluminescent mushroom? Sweet. Oh, it's also a lamp. Ooh. Cool. Cool. Oh. Sorry, wrong button. A sunken submarine. Now you can craft it anytime you want at Maker Bear's workshop. Cool. That's pretty cool. Such treasures to be found at the bottom of the deep sea. Gold, a kraken, a, my lost sock. Spooky decor. That's cool. That's cool. I like it. Hold on to the scout book page. Okay. I don't remember who wanted the leaves. Maybe it was this guy. Yeah, okay. That ill wind is back. I've been stuffing feathers in my coat all morning to no avail. If I can't get warmth from some quarter soon, I'll have to give up my dramatic seaward posture. Wait, what is it? It's like, if I can't get warmth from some warmth soon, gotta use the pinky. Block! I wonder if he could help. Hmm. I hope this is a rat. Why, the merchant of mischief, trickster of terra firma, my constant tormentor. Mr. Kit! Oh, it is a rat and a fox. But it in involves a rat. I love rats. Some say he sells wares what can cure a captain of his shivers. But perhaps those are just fishermen's tales. Sea Captain's sweater. Buy it from Mr. Kit's store. Okay. I will go buy you a sweater. For a ghost, you are very cold. <laughs> More pastries found on the ground. Yum. Oh, Mr. Kit. Oh, wait. More potatoes. Wake up, Mr. Kit. I want to buy something. A spirit camera. Oh, this is one for, for pistachio. For some reason, my selfies get a lot of likes from conspiracy theorists. So 
roasted nut flour. I just need a sweater. There's no sweater here. I see no sweater. Ten thousand coins. Razier pillar. No idea. Mr. Kit is not selling a sweater, in fact. Oh, right! Our new friend, Francesca Duclaw. Ah, those are the leaves I was looking for. Thank you. Hmm, I can't seem to reattach them. You're gonna need glue or what? I can't even find the branches they came from. How strange. Wordsworth? Frost? Any thoughts on the matter? Hmm. Typical. Most of the time, these trees won't stop rustling. But as soon as I need their opinion, then silence is golden. I have branches. Dude, do you need branches? Ooh. Money. Money, 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 money. Dollar, dollar. Is that eyeballs under the tree? Alright, I have branches. Do you need branches? Oh. Hmm, indeed. Coffee dye, steel dye. This game is gonna be a lot bigger than I thought it was. Oh my god. Look at all this stuff. Inks and dyes. A legendary this is this, oh man look at all the stuff there is I thought this was like a really cute small little quick game have any of you ever played Donut County Donut County is you could like beat the whole game in four hours and it's so cute if you have not played Donut County play Donut County it's super super adorable but this is not the quick, quick little game that I thought. Look, it's a bear print. So cute. I think I should get my shovel out. Oh, I've got it. Uh, yeah, I don't need that. Hmm. Okay. And then what do I do? Soft wood and mushrooms. Not suggestive at all. Ooh, what do we have here? Soft wood and branches. Oh, more leaves. Mushrooms and branches. Oh my. 
Oh wait. This is a wood. Do we have wood? Oh, we do have logs. Six more again? I don't know where your stupid cup is. Is this not a thing? Hmm. hmm. Yes. the burst of color that occurred afterwards yeah i suppose it was rather dramatic bringing color to the island is a noble thing this place isn't meant to be so gloomy and lifeless i bring this up because my dear friend thoreau is in need of your help he's the walnut tree over there just out of reach of my color okay He's got an umbrella snagged in his branches that's bothering him terribly. I'd ask you to shake the umbrella free, but because Thoreau is uncolored, mortals like you can't interact with him. He can't even grow walnuts in his uncolored state. Poor thing. He looks so barren now. You'll need to extend the reach of my color to help him. Take this spirit lamp and place it on the colored edge of my domain to extend it to Thoreau. Okay. How do I place it? That worked. And more money. All right. I think this is, we got a really far away for one day and I am fairly pleased with what we've accomplished today we've been on for about two hours so i think it's time for me to go um or to get ready to go here because i have to feed the babies and stuff like that they have to eat every two hours so um new home for my other friend here you go uh a pink plum tree oh okay Well, all right. All right, I think. Yeah, well, I just got five new babies um, yesterday. So I'm in the rehydrating phase. So uh, every couple hours I gotta give them some Pedialyte. And then tonight I start with formula. So I have to feed them and then in another hour feed them again. It's a whole thing, just trying to keep them alive right now. But that's about it. I am going to be on here again tomorrow um, with Pistachio or Peanut, um, one of them. 
I uh, will be streaming with them tomorrow. We're going to play uh, Stardew Valley, but we're going to do it here on YouTube, which is where I'm going to do the cozy games. And then I'll keep the more gamer games on Twitch. And then I'll be streaming some Star Citizen tomorrow. And that's about it. But that's uh, about it for me today. I just wanted to test out all the new stuff and celebrate finally getting a custom URL on YouTube. It's um, taken a very, very long time to get up enough subscribers to get that. So I am really, really happy that I have a custom fucking URL now. All right, sweet Orbital. I'll, send, I'll um, take a look at those and... I will be back here tomorrow. It should be noon Pacific time or 3 p.m. East Coast. And I hope we have a great time playing Stardew. Uh, streaming with Peanut or Pistachio. It'd probably be Pistachio. Um, it's going to be so much fun. It's going to be amazing. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Thank you.